Hello and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Project. I have started research on an upgrade, Veins Utilization. It's very expensive, it takes a thousand yellow, but I'm starting with it because it means that all of my um, miners use less ore and they mine faster. And it's, it's the using less ore. I mean, minus 6% may not sound like much, but if it means the ores run out less quickly, then, then you know, fair enough. So I've got two of these stations set up so far. Uh, one here and one on the opposite side of the planet. Uh, four rail launchers, two for each of the orbits. So in total, I'm going to have eight launchers at the moment. Um, I might want to see how many launchers I, you know, um, I can actually support currently, but I probably won't. I think I'm just going to add two more of these stations um, in between episodes. So there's this one and what, and another one on the other side of the planet, and then I'll sort of add two more, sort of to quarter the planet. That way, one of these arrays and possibly two of these arrays will always be visible and firing for our thing. Um, this thing is set up, it's got its drones, it already has a thousand in there. All we need to do is actually run the belt out, remembering to set the filter. There we go. Uh, it looks like, yep, they're going to grab a little bit of excess, but then they are going to start shooting. Uh, turn off build mode so I can actually move, please. Thank you. Right, um, I haven't started the other one firing yet. So let's quickly do that. Yellow science production has possibly stopped. Because we are out of titanium. Yeah, that was bound to happen. But we might have had enough in storage to actually get that upgrade done, because that's going down nice and quickly. Ah, here's the other one. Um, I think I'm going to redesign it to be like that one and actually sort of go the half and half with a splitter. I think it's neater. Okay, now we've got those in. You can see where we need the power and reconnect this severed power grid, hopefully. Everything happy? I think I might just throw that there, because there was a tall one that's now gone away. Right, orbit one, orbit two, orbit one, orbit two, Our Dyson Swarm, it's going to, it's only at 47 at the moment, it's going to slowly build up. Now, ah, escape. As I said, we are launching these from the equator because there's going to be long periods of time when either the North or the South Pole are not visible to the, uh, to the swarms or to where they need to launch to. But we are putting our receiver dishes at the North and South Poles because they get an efficiency boost for being within sight of the Dyson Swarm for long periods of time. Um, it's continuous receiving. And yes, it means that if it was in the winter zone, it might not have a very high continuous receiving. But at least for half the year, it's going to be, be be pretty good, hopefully. That's, that's my thinking. Uh, no, I don't want to trick on this tree. I want to stick on that. Right, our generation capacity is down to down to eighty. It was a hundred before we did this. We definitely had a hundred. I'm a 
little concerned by that. Sorry, I'm distracted. Um, I'm not sure why our generation capacity has dropped by 20. I don't think I've, like, cut off a major part of the grid or anything. Have a severe lack of power. No power. Well, this would explain why there's a problem, but. I seem to have severed my power grids at some point. I'm going to make sure I add some redundancy in here. Okay, so that's got a connection there. What I should do is some, put some of these long distance power poles coming down. Your oil. Okay, I think we're just okay. We are full on. This is one of the reasons, maybe, why our generating capacity has dropped. Although I think reconnecting the North Pole, no, that hasn't made any difference. Possible we were we were relying on the burning of all this this hydrogen, and because this is full of oil, and we're not actively consuming any of it. Interesting. Um, there is like a little bit of hydrogen here. Stop wasting our own power. <laughs> Although those hydrogen things do last forever. Let's see if we can get what hydrogen we have stored. Yeah, it's because these things stopped running. And those things stopped running because we stopped needing the um, needing the oil because we were no longer doing the science. And then it all just sort of fell apart. <laughs> but hopefully the Dyson Swarm will be growing. It's at 12 megawatts of, um, of available power. So that is going to help. Right. Oh. Interplanetary lo uh, logistics, because that's what stopped us, is we're out of titanium here. got a load in my inventory and I want to make sure it goes to something. Okay, the towers. There we go. Just make sure they go somewhere useful. So we need to make these logistics vessels which require the special metal and the super thrusters 
and we need to make the super thrusters, which requires these special metals and uh, magnetic turbines by the look of it. And we want to make that which uses the super metal. So the first thing we need to do is we have to get the super metal onto the bus. Which doesn't list here annoyingly because it's not something I can craft myself. No, it does list there. There it is. Titanium alloy. Right, so titanium, obviously. I'm, I, I think I am going to have to make another trip to the other planet. Steel and sulfuric acid. Right, where is my sulfuric acid? I know that I made a load. Here. Obviously have more than we need because this is full. That's graphene. We do have steel... Here. Okay, so we've got sulfuric acid, we've got our steel, and then it needed titanium. Titanium. Will Will a grabber go that far? No. I suppose there's nothing stopping you from just going up in the air. Let's trim you back a little bit. I don't think anything was grabbing you anyway. Right, so there's titanium. There's some steel. Actually, I might put a splitter. Yeah. Let's go with the splitter on this. Okay, so we get this sort of splitter which has got a second story. And we can... Oh. Run that in like that. Uh, shift copy. I just want that so the lower ground can continue that way. And now we'll get a level 2 belt because I've got more of them on me. Out to there. Titanium steel and my sulfuric acid is there. It's made in a smelter. Interesting. 12 second process to make four. So if I had 12 of them, I'd get three a second. Okay, we've got an empty belt there. I'm just sort of wondering where my output's going to be, but I'm possibly just sort of getting a bit a bit ahead of myself. So for now, we'll just assume we're going to go as far as here. And our output's going to be that way. more of these. Um, sort of Mark 3s. We've got a load of sort of Mark 2s and Mark 1s on me. 
So we can dump those. So I'm going to do as many as will fit for now. That's eight. the last of the titanium. <laughs> right, super engines. Use this stuff and the electromagnetic turbines. And the logistics vessel is going to use this stuff, the chips, and that. Out of silicon. And titanium. Okay, the chips would be on this bottom line there. Turbines are there. I'm, I'll be back once I've worked out where this where this staff goes. I think I've got it worked out. <laughs> um, so we take our special titanium alloy over here, um, and we run it through some splitters. Now let's make sure we're set to level one. Keep these things in the sky. Put one there, one there one there. And these things bring our special metal down in between the machines that need them. So here we have our reinforced thrusters being being made. Uh, they grab the electromagnetic turbines and the special metal. Special metal is what I've been calling it in my head throughout the building process because I keep forgetting what it's actually called. So those should start ticking away. I figured I might need um, need some engines for some other stuff because it sounds like the sort of thing I'm going to need. So I've got four machines making them now and they are all ticking away. Um, and here we have the two machines making um, our logistics vessels and our interstellar logistics towers. And those also need to grab that. Uh, this thing also wants the pink barbells, which are here. They're not pink barbells, of course. They're particle containers. So we can grab that easily enough. But it also wants these. Um, and that I'm a little less certain of. both of those. These things are not quite lining up, and I don't quite understand why. But I don't really want to waste the time fixing it. So start on the ground, and go up to level one. I think I actually want to trim this back one. <sighs> Come on, stay up at that level. <sighs> okay, sorry, zero, up at one. All I want you to do is go one that way. There we go. Then I will once again cut that one. You've got to do this sometimes in order to sort of trick it into doing what you want. 
and then go down. Right, so then we can have something placing it there, grabbing it there, and that's going to output to there. Right, this thing uh, wants the special engines, which have run past it on the belt, but we will start making more at some point. Special metal I've already grabbed for it, and it needs chips. Chips are on this belt here. So we need to do... We need to run some up to it. There, I've already limited the boxes to one stack each. And chips will be back there, and that will do a transfer for us. Right, so I think that is going to get me my interplanetary logistics. Of course, before we get our interplanetary logistics, we need titanium and silicon. Go over here, uh, dump all our stuff, probably delete some of this. Right, so that's got us completely emptied. that up to get its titanium automatically. Yeah, it's out of titanium. I think it was getting its titanium from that box, so what uh, we need to run a belt probably from that tower, giving it titanium. So my inventory is empty. I am full on fuel. Go to Mencab One. My Dyson Swarm is looking very pretty. I thought we had two orbits. I'm surprised we're only seeing the one. The one ring. Oh no, yeah, there's a ring there. And a ring there. Nice, nice and on target. Uh, I need some silicon as well, unfortunately. So we can't take all this. Go with like a 50-50. Right. Only a short visit, but hopefully it's the last time we have to do something like that. It's relatively annoying. And on the flight back, we can enjoy the sight of... Um, all our solar cells being shot out. Okay, this box wants the titanium. This box wants the silicon.
doesn't last long. <laughs> Hopefully there's going to be enough in the system that we can get two of those towers. Okay, here comes the strength and titanium alloy. You... There are none of those in there. I suppose they all ended up on the belt or something and then got eaten by the other machine. I should grab my basic inventory back. How are we doing for power, by the way? 114 megawatts. I'm going to give it the four towers I've got on my person, just so it will actually make at least one. This thing's waiting on chips. This is stealing them all. <laughs> it's the problem when your production dries up. I'm going to steal your chips and give them here. There we go. How many actually do you need? You need 10. So I'm actually going to keep doing this <laughs> for the moment. Because I want a number of those logistics vessels. Sorry, something's gone wrong here. Right, so you've got two sources. You're supposed to put them there. And I think I accidentally made both of those sources go into that box. So that's where my planetary logistics stuff has ended up. There we go. Stop stealing processes. Yeah, it needs 14. <laughs> okay, we've got six of those now. How are we actually getting our big towers? We have some big towers. Okay. So we'll grab three. Grab eight of them. And we are actually going to start these going. Right, this thing was just about having titanium. Clear and reset. I need your drones back. Because if I just delete that tower while its drones are out and about, I think I lose them. And I definitely don't want that. Right, so we are no longer going to have this box for titanium. Or that belt. Just gonna wait for all of those craft to come back. Currently I have none on me. So I'm hoping that when I get that, I get them back. There we go. We are gonna replace that one oops, with our interplanetary one. We 
which is very, very big. Okay. You can actually go here, I think. Um, production might want to head over there at some later point, so I will put it here. 